Alright guys, so in this video we're checking out these new 3 inch props from HQ Prop. These are the T 3x1.5 and we have the 2 bladed and the 3 bladed. And they both have the 1.5 pitch here. So, and you can see here's the 2 bladed and here's the 3 bladed. I have these on um, these specific quads for specific reasons. I'll talk about that later in terms of flight characteristics. But let me actually just show you the props off of the quad, the motors there. They both have the same basic blade shape here. It's a pretty standard shape here recently for a lot of the HQ props. Um, you can even see with the 65 millimeter prop, it's got that same basic shape that's on uh, the 3x2, the 3x3, and various 2 and 3 bladed varieties. And the basic uh, stiffness of the prop is the Pretty much the same across the entire line. Uh, it's hard to explain, but basically, the stiffness uh, from the hub on out is fairly consistent. It, obviously, uh, the very tip here it's a little bit less stiff than towards the hub, but it the tr the transition here is a little bit more gradual compared to say the gem fan. This is the 3018 prop. It's much more stiff here in the center part compared to the HQ prop and much less stiff on the edge. So those do translate to a little bit of differences in the flight characteristics. So just to compare the basic weight here, the 3 by 1.5 by 2 is about 0.78 grams. And the this is the Gemfan 3018 prop. A bit heavier, about 0 0.05 grams, 0 0.83 grams. And then if we compare the 3 inch, or the 3 bladed, this is the 3 by 1.5 by 3. It's about 1.06. And the 3016 gem fan prop is about 1.24. So the gem fan props are a little bit heavier than the HQ equivalents. So basically the main difference between the gem fans versus the HQs is that the HQs have less pitch. So 3.2. Uh, 3 by 1.5 versus uh, 1.6 for the gem fan and 1.5 versus 1.8 for the uh, HU versus the gem fan on the two bladed side. And that translates to um, uh, basically more amp draw and less efficiency. And I know that some people are like, well, why would you want to go with such a shallow pitched prop and such a light prop? And there's going to be those situations, and I've actually, as I mentioned before, why I use these particular ones here. So on the two-bladed side here, uh, I was previously using this, I think, uh, 3018 prop, and it was getting, you know, very uh, poor flight times and a lot of voltage sag on this prop. But then I switched to this prop here, and obviously same motor. This is that 1203 7000 kV motor. With the lower pitch prop and um, being lighter and everything, it just does seem to have better efficiency and um, it seems to ramp up to the power band a little bit better on this prop versus the gem fan prop because it is a little bit lighter. So um, it, at the same time, while it doesn't have like the same amount of pop that it does on the, uh, on the gem fan, it still has pretty good pop but way better efficiency and way better um, uh, current draw compared to the gem fan prop. So these are the kind of situations I think this low or shallow pitch, uh, 1.5 pitch prop is going to be more useful. Also on this side here, this is the Ichin Twig HD, on these 1105 motors, uh, this also is going to be more efficient, but it seems to have better low end power on this prop versus the three bladed uh, 3016 gem fan. And the differences aren't huge because obviously, um, you know, the prop pitch is just a little bit more on the gem fan. But I think on these 1105 motors, this prop is going to be a better choice. It's lighter, it spins up faster than the gem fan, and you have a little bit more control in the low end versus the, the gem fan. Um, I think if you're going to go to a bigger motor like a 1204 or 1303, then I think the gem fan will be just fine. And what you're going to gain for on this prop here is going to be uh, much more responsiveness on the low end uh, but you're going to uh, probably lose a lot of top end power so if you go full throttle um, with, a, with such a shallow pitch prop you're going to basically run out of power 
probably about 75% throttle and then above that you're not going to really gain anything with this prop on a bigger motor so you know and again this is all my opinion based on things on my uh, flying these props on these particular setups your mileage may vary and this is highly subjective as to you know it's always like you know which prop is the best? That's the common question that I get all the time, but it really depends on you. It depends on the pilot. It depends, depends on how you fly, what kind of efficiency you're looking for, what kind of motors you're using, the weight of the quad that these are on. There's a lot of factors in determining what's best and also what kind of a feel you, you're going to prefer versus, uh, you know, on one prop versus another prop. And that's the thing. It's like, you know, um, if I switch this motor from 1105 motor to a 1204, same KV motor, 5000 KV, I think I would prefer the gem fan over the HQ, just that you have a better uh, overall power uh, in the, uh, from the bottom end to the top end, and a little bit better top end power, although you're going to lose a little bit uh, more flight time on this, on this particular prop. And then, you know, the stiffness of the prop does affect uh, the way it handles um, when you're, especially at the, at the very, very high end of the throttle. This one tends to bend more so this uh, eh, it's hard to explain but uh, you basically lose a lot of control at about 80-90% throttle. You just you get more power but you don't get you lose a lot of control in terms of like changing direction and stuff like that when this particular prop versus the HQ it's a little bit um, overall the end of the prop is not as flexible. So again, you know, basically, it's really difficult to make a recommendation as to which one's better. It really depends on your situation, and as I, as I said earlier, it kind of depends on the kind of motors you're using. So that's, that's why I wanted to use these motors as sort of examples, as guidelines as to what you might expect to be better. If you've got a less efficient, higher KV motor, um, but you still want to use a 3-inch prop versus a 2.5-inch prop, this one would be the one to go for, the 3 by one5 so, for example, you know, what I said here, this is like a high KV 1203 and on 3S, and it would this motor would probably do better on a 3-bladed 2.5-inch prop, but if you would rather go to a 3-inch 2-bladed uh, prop, then this one would probably be your choice over a 2.5-inch prop. Uh, overall, you're going to get more power and more efficiency on a 3-inch prop versus a 2.5-inch prop. So if you got a motor that most people are telling you that you should go to a smaller 2.5-inch prop, maybe you should try this 3-inch prop instead. Uh, especially for those higher KV, less efficient motors, they're going to get better results for that. And then on the three-bladed side here, again, if you're looking for more efficiency, if you got a smaller motor, 1104, 1105, this one is going to be better. And even even in some situations, if with 1103, you may even want to go to like this, you know, the two-bladed um, three by 1.5 and see how that is. I actually haven't tried that yet, but you know, on a small motor like that. If you, if you want to go to a 3-inch prop for whatever reason, obviously you're not going to get really good power on the, on the high end on 1103, but you get really good efficiency on the low end, I think, on 1103 on the 2 liter prop. So those are the kind of situations I think that these kind of props are going to be useful for in those situations where you're looking for more uh, flight time um, and less current draw. Maybe you want to, for, for example, use a smaller motor and maybe go to like a smaller ESC then something like this with a lower pitch is going to be beneficial to you. But if you're just looking for, you know, maximum power, um, you're, just, you're just like you're like going full throttle all the time for whatever reason, then you're going to want to go with a much more bigger motor, bigger ESC, and obviously a, a, a prop that has a lot more pitch. So like the 3018, for example, is going to give you a lot of punch in that situation. So it really depends on your preferences and what you're kind of looking for. Anyway, so I hope uh, this information is helpful and maybe helping you decide which prop is going to be good for you and your situation. But yeah, if you have any specific questions about your particular situation as to what would be best, I might be able to help you out. But yeah, please, when you leave a comment, don't just uh, uh, you know leave a vague question as to which is best because I don't know what your situation is. And I really encourage you, if you do want a response to that question, uh, let me know what kind of ECs you have, motor you have what kind of quad you've got, how heavy it is, what kind of, those kind of things will, will be more useful in terms of telling you which prop might be better for your situation. So hopefully it helps. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right, so pretty noisy in the park here again today. Got the gardeners going. But uh, I can already tell 
this prop sounds very typical of a lot of the other HQ props, just a different pitch. Yeah, it's because it has the same shape as some of the other ones. Basically the same general um, uh, blade shape, just a different pitch. And this is the uh, Primo 3. This previously had the uh, the Gem Fan 3018s, I believe. So this is a, this has less pitch. Uh, I don't know. I think it's hard to tell. I mean, it's not that much difference, but in terms of feel, it just feels like it has a little bit less um, low end power. Yeah, just a little bit less control on the on the on the low end of the throttle here, like below 50%. But it has more top end, like and when you when you give it a little bit more punch, it definitely takes off on you a little bit more. I think it's just because uh, it's a little bit lighter prop and tends to give you more RPMs quicker. So you can see we got a fair amount of vibration. Oh, the uh, gardener's coming this way. I think I might have to land here. Let's see, where is he, where is he going? Oh, he's heading, he's not quite here yet. Plenty of power to do power loops or whatever. This thing's, I think it's a lot faster on this motor. I've been looking for a better prop for this particular I think it's an 1203 motor, 7,000 kV from Gnarly FPV. This might be the prop. They're really, they're really saying this prop's better for two and a half inch, or this motor's better for a two and a half inch propeller. This very low pitch three inch propeller might be okay too. I'm getting, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of flight time as well. I haven't changed anything. Same 300 milliamp hour battery as before, but now I'm getting low battery warnings. About uh, almost three minutes in, which is acceptable, I think, for this configuration. I think if you go to a 453S, you can get more flight time. Yeah, I just feel like on the turns, a little bit less grip, and I'm getting a little better. Battery's dead here, and def definitely better on the high end. All right, so now I'm trying the uh, 3015 or the T by a 3 1.5 or 3015 prop. This sounds kind of different. This is on the Eshin Twig HD. This sounds totally different from the uh, bi-bladed. Yeah, not as much power. Because it is not, isn't as much pitch as the 3016s. But for a freestyle, it's not too bad. I think for racing, I don't think I would go with this prop if you're racing uh, like a three inch toothpick. Ooh, it's pretty nice on, on some of these power moves. It's a little less control than I'd like. But I don't see any vibrations. Let's see what the HD footage looks like. It sounds pretty smooth. Here's the uh, gardener here. I think he's heading my way. Yeah, it's got good power. Might need a little bit of a different tune here. It's got a tiny, I saw a tiny bit of prop wash oscillation. It's not bad. Control is decent. 
feel like I can handle the turns no problem here, tight turns. It's not sliding too much. Whoops, I hit a br ghost branch. Whoa! <laughs> uh, analog video. Yeah, that guy's getting pretty close to me. Might have to end my flight here soon. Uh, you can see he's got decent control. And plenty of speed for something this small and light. I think as um, the, if you've put some heavier micro, so this is like a HD toothpick three inch, you put it on something much heavier with, with the bigger motors, for example, the 1404s, it's um, probably not going to perform as nicely. Yeah, so smaller motors like 1105s, 1204s, probably going to be better. And I, got, I think I got to land here. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this on something heavier. I think it won't perform as well on something heavier. On something light like this, it's gonna be perfect for this lower pitch. And it's gonna draw less amps, I think, as well, compared to the gem fans. See, I'm already at almost four minutes of flight at, and still 10.9 volts. Uh, so just my preliminary thinking on this is that it's, it's a little bit more efficient, but that would make sense because it's got less pitch and weighs less, so. Anyways, a couple more videos on this guy, on these uh, these props later. I gotta go. This guy, uh, this gardener is gonna kick me out of here. All right, I'm gonna try another spot. Not as noisy with lawnmowers. And hopefully, you guys can hear the props better. It definitely doesn't have as much power. As the Gem Fan 3016s, but I, I like the way these sound, at least on this motor, this setup here, when the e Sheen Twig HD. Not a lot of pop wash. And uh, if you guys don't know already, I have RPM filter enabled on this one. I did that a while back. Yeah, it's flying pretty nice. I don't think I have a fully charged battery this time. I think this is a partially used battery, so flight time's not gonna be as long as the last flight. I don't think this prop's going to be that good for racing. If you're going to be thinking about something that is heavier. It's okay in the turns. You probably want a two-bladed um, 3018 for a little bit more power in the top end. But this is pretty decent control. It's not bad.
Yeah, they sound real nice. I like the way they sound. I like the way they sound better than the chew blade did. But I have to try the chew blade on some other motors, I think. Maybe a little bit later. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.